Coffee, tea, and TV? Well, don't laugh. For passengers aboard a U.S. Airways flight to Phoenix, just flying with a very sick passenger was enough to make it memorable. Because mid-flight, the airline was alerted by the TSA that the Centers for Disease Control had just put one of its passengers on their no-fly list. The reason he was reportedly being treated for the highly contagious and sometimes deadly disease tuberculosis. That meant testing everyone on the plane to be safe, but a plane hassle nevertheless. So just plain wrong and worse, plain illegal to Rebecca Nixon and Kelly Sandin. Um, Rebecca, though, um, is the airline in any way at fault? Now, it was notified very late in the game, so we can argue back to the passengers. Look, I mean, we, we found out almost as soon as you did. Um, what, what, does that carry much legal water? And, uh, it doesn't. And, Neil, be careful what you're asking for, because just imagine if they were responsible and you walk up to the counter and you start coughing and they say, ooh, that sounds like a very deep cough coming from your chest. You might have tuberculosis. We're not going to let you no, on the plane. No, no, Rebecca, what happens you know? is when they're playing CNN <laughs> on a screen above them, I know that's going to happen to me, and I'm going to be the first <laughs> dunk of the way, so please. But I, I guess no, what I mean, quite no. seriously asking, is there any liability on the part of the airline? They, no. All these because, passengers are ticked off, and they want to well, you know, focus they're ticked on off, somebody. But it's what Kelly said. I mean, exactly. They, the guy is in line. He gets on the plane. The plane takes off, and then all of a sudden, CDC calls TSA and says, hey, there's a guy on the plane, and he's on the no-fly list. The only thing I'm concerned about is it sounds from all the information that we got that when the plane landed, they walked up and gave him a mask. What the hell good is that going to do? They've all been on the plane the whole entire time, and when they're exiting, oh, so they give him the mask. so he didn't have the mask when he was flying? He didn't have anything like I that? I think they should have isolated well, 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 right, him. Well, well, you mentioned a very good point. Uh, we did try to reach out to you, sir. We did not get a response. But, Rebecca, you think this just sort of blows over, no pun intended. Uh, but people should be wise to who they're flying with or who's been cleared for takeoff. Right? Absolutely, but I, I also think that it's it's very fair and it's correct that they told everybody instead of hiding from it. I mean, they didn't have much of a chance with all of the um, yeah, they police told them coming mid -air. on. I think they told them midair. I, I think they waited till they landed, and the police all came on, and everyone was told at that point in time when they put the mask on them, um, hey, you all need to get TB uh, checks. And, you know, even if it's, it's a latent, yeah. yeah, it is. And even if it's latent, which most cases of TB are latent, they don't come to full fruition in most people. Even if it's latent and you're never going to get the full kick of the tuberculosis, they might show positive. So I'm not quite sure why Kelly's saying nobody had it. I don't know how fast the TB. Um, but we don't test. know. We don't know. We're going to watch right. it and monitor it, see if, if, if something comes of this. Hopefully not. But. Scary right. landing, to put it mildly. Uh, folks, true. thank you both very, very much.